Hello, hello everyone. Happy Thursday. This is Brooke, Florida Treasure Jewels. Welcome in. Today we are going to unbox, it's right here, a box from America's Thrift Supply. This is a five pound mystery jewelry box, mixed jewelry lot. Um, I have not ordered from America's Thrift Supply in quite some time because these boxes uh, really are not that great and we'll see, we'll see what uh, is going on. I wanted to uh, try it again and see if there was anything, any changes or if it's still uh, as bad as it was last time. So we'll go ahead and we will get into this. The box is really tall so it won't fit under here. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut it open. We got a bag and a box. I'm just gonna pull the box bag out. Okay. Here is the bag. I have the receipt in here. Okay, so with America's thrift supply, let's see. So this one is this a jewelry supply mystery box five pounds, $39.99, $10 shipping, so 50 bucks. And I uh, ordered this on 10-6. So we will see how good or bad this one is. Go ahead and move that out of the way. All right, so here's the bag. I see something right here that's already piqued my interest. Let's see what that is. Looks like we got some rings in here. Let's go ahead and dive on in. We'll grab this big thing that's right here on the front or on the top. So it looks like we have a multi-strand. This is all acrylic. These are glass right here. But, and I think it's broke because beads are falling. No, it looks like it was an earring. Okay, so here is the necklace. It's just a very chunky blue acrylic necklace. You do have some glass beads on there as well. Here is what I assume is an earring. That's a glass bead right there. Here we got another one of those rings. It's adjustable. Oh, there's a whole, oh my goodness, look at, look at all of these rings. It's like a whole, they just dumped them all in this bag, wow. There's so many of them, uh, let's see, okay. All right, well, I'm just going to make a pile of rings then, because there's still more in the bag, so we will Put those to the side. Here is an earring. Got another earring here. Pretty beadwork. Looks like maybe something was missing from there. These I don't I don't like. Here's some more rings. I don't like these. These get so dirty, these ribbon necklaces. It's so not, not good. We're going to go ahead and put that, this has got a lot of um, stuff on it, so we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. Here's some more rings. 
Once I get all of them out, we'll have to look and see how many there are because there's a ton. So this is kind of like a boho style necklace. You have the wood beads and the tassel. Tassel needs to be cleaned. The wood beads can be repurposed. Looks like we got several of these plastic uh, rosary type necklaces. So we got all sorts of colors there. Here is an earring. Yeah, here's some more rings. These are all super lightweight. If anybody is interested in the whole lot, let me know and I can send you all of them. Looks like we got some graduation earrings here. More graduation earrings. Got a watch band, natural leather. Get some more of those rosary type necklaces. Here's a little charm bracelet. I think this is just something that is supposed to mimic Pandora. It is not Pandora. But you have a nice little beachy theme going on here with the palm trees and the flamingo, starfish. Really pretty uh, colors on the beads. What is this, a bracelet? missing a stone. And a bunch of these silver leaf things as well. And that's neat. A little beaded. So it's supposed to be kind of like a baby in a bassinet. Silver leaves. Have an earring. All right, I believe this to be a long necklace. Got some nice pieces here to reuse and craft craft purposes. Do. we have one of those beaded necklaces that has that um, kind of like Russian spiral stitch. It's a long continuous strand. Uh, I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, uh, probably something for like a, a kid to chew on. I would, I would think, um, first years yeah this is like a kid's chew toy so teething toy oh, I should say teething teething toy not chew toy because it's not a dog this is interesting but it's broken it's completely broken but it's one of those accordion um, style bracelets no maker marks on that one. This is a natural stone, probably sodalite, maybe. Stretch bracelet. We have another one. This is Tiger's Eye. Here's one of those uh, bracelets that has those like interchangeable uh, where you can change out the links to you know, customize it to what you like. Got some bangle bracelets here. So here we got some gold tone bangles. No markings on these. There is a hairpin. 
There's the other earring. That one. Here is a bracelet that has a cross. It's one of those um, keychain. You can put that around your wrist. Key fob. New in the package. Got another um, watch band style leather. I don't see any identifying marks on it. There's some writing on there. So I'm gonna assume that these are kind of like best friend bracelets because they have the magnet on the end right here that connects them or you could wear them like that. And a wood bead stretch bracelet. Here is just a piece of lightweight chain. We have some more of those silver leaves. Here's some more rings and some more silver leaves. This is Premier Design. Silver tone pendant. It is marked back here on the back. And you have the braided faux leather chain right there. This one is pretty worn. Um, that's going to have to be, it's got a lot of corrosion to it. The nice uh, magnetic closure right there and some seed beads so that could definitely be repurposed. You have another cross religious necklace or no I think it might be a rosary or a bracelet that goes around your wrist. There's an earring. Get another bangle, some more rings, another rosary. Here is the other earring to that one that we already found. Get an earring and a bangle. I'm trying to remember where I put all my things at. Proud American pin. Some earrings, more rings, maybe a snowflake earring. Got a paparazzi bracelet here, that rose gold tone. It's another one of those bracelets. Got a stretch bracelet, Christmas themed, another ring. There's the other earring. I think those are like clay. All right, so here's the piece. Is this J. Crew? Yeah, okay. Kind of thought so just by looking at the back of it. It does have a lot of wear on the chain which is unfortunate. I do like the color um, theme for this one. Let's make sure that all of the, you know, they were missing a rhinestone there. So maybe we'll be able to find it in the bag. I hope so, because I could just uh, glue that down. But yeah, so cute piece. Uh, it's unfortunate it's missing a stone. But hopefully we can fix it up. Let's see. Let's get this one out. What is this? Got a earring. So this one is acrylic and glass. No maker mark. Multi-strand. Got 
We got another J. Crew. Let's see. Again, the rope on this one is just not good. Looks like we have all the rhinestones. Yeah, it looks like all the rhinestones are there, so that's nice. It's, it's a nice piece. I just wish that it would have been on a chain instead of rope like that. So uh, leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know how, what you would do with this. Would you clean it? And if you would clean it, how would you clean it? Because I would love to know um, what to do with those pieces when I get them. Here we have a nice little natural stone necklace. Kind of looks like selenite, selenite, I believe, but it might be agate because there's some banding in there. I'm not sure, but it's a pretty stone. Okay, I think we got to the tangle part of the video. Look at this chunky piece right here. What is this? Alright, so here is a chunky blue I don't know if that's glass or stone. It's very pretty. The uh, the chain is pretty worn, but the pendant is nice. You just throw it on a new chain and it'll be good to go. And we have some more rings. Here is an earring. This bracelet right here that is broken. Get some nice little crystals on there. This is a religious necklace. Um, you would definitely have to toss the chain, but the uh, the pendant is in good condition. It looks like a little bit of discoloration on the tassel part of it, but the chain is definitely no good. You have some faux leather, one of those adjustable bracelets. Here's that other earring. It's nice that they uh, that there's matches in here. Here's another costume necklace. It's got a lot of wear to it and discoloration. And a gold tone earring. Here's a cute little, would that be a teacher pin or Maybe a teacher pin. There's no markings on it. This one is a slide adjustable necklace where you pull these to make it tighter or pull them to make it looser. The chain is uh, all discolored. The pendant is, it looks like it's in okay shape. It's been, there is some wear to the back of it from being worn, which is always good because it's nice that, you know, jewelry is worn. So let's see, got some glitter bangles here. I'm not sure what this is. It's a bunch of metal hoops made into a necklace, possibly. You have a screw back earring here. It's 
says made in Western Germany. So hopefully we have the other one to this one. That would be nice. We got some more silver leaves. And some more rings. This necklace right here has got a really pretty pendant on it. It is missing a couple of stones, I can see. No maker marks on this one. But that's a nice little glass piece right there. Uh, this necklace, again, is extremely... Most of these necklaces are just extremely worn, um, which is a shame. Uh, let's see. Got a bangle here. Looks like another little light bulb. And a cute little enamel pin for Christmas. And some earrings. There's a ring. More silver leaves. Some more earrings. Let's see, who's this? Claire's. A little Claire's bracelet. Another bracelet. I'm. I don't know. I'm kind of. I think I'm just disappointed in this one. There's just a lot of wear. I should, honestly, I should have known. Um, America's Thrift Supply, I think they started out great um, way back, and then it kind of just went downhill. At least in my experience. I, I can't speak for everyone, um, but... Like most of this, most of these necklaces are just so far that the, the coating is so bad, you know, you would have to just basically repurpose every, every single piece. Um, this necklace right here is broken. A little ball right there, child's necklace. This one has got a lot of wear to it. Yeah, that's all got. It's missing stones. Some more earrings, some more silver leaves. Oh, looks nice. Just bits and pieces. This is 1928. So this one's not too bad. I don't see a whole lot of uh, wear on it. Gold tone, really pretty filigree pieces by 1928. Okay. All right, we're gonna dump out the bag because we are at the end. We have a bunch of Looks like more broken. So this is a pendant, Christmas pendant. I believe this is going to be a religious type bracelet. You have a very worn kind of like chain mesh necklace. This says Mary Kay, believe, very worn. These look interesting, maybe rose quartz. 
Again, very worn, would need to be, need some TLC for sure. This is a broken bracelet, maybe. The ends are broken off. Here is a Cameo pin pendant. I think that is acrylic. I think this is another, yeah, watch band. And a necklace here, rhinestones. And a nice little box clasp on this one. Irmish. I've seen uh, these bracelets before. I've had plenty of them. Some of them are really nice. I like that earring. Do we have the match? I don't see it. So here are some earrings. Let's see. We've got some more silver leaves. Another earring. Got a couple of matches here. There's a pendant. More silver leaves. Some more acrylic. Got beads all over the place over here. I don't see, I just don't see anything that What is this? We got a bracelet. It's got enamel on it. Yeah, I don't know. I more than likely I am not going to purchase from America's Thrift Supply again. Um, I do have a another box. Um, it's not from America's Thrift Supply. It's from um, Goodwill Blue Box. So I do have one, um, a box from them. We're gonna open that up. Um, this might be the only interesting piece right here, which looks like a you know, Native American inspired uh, earring with a piece of turquoise in it. So uh, that would be nice if it is real. I cannot tell. Oh yeah, it's marked. It says R.B. Sterling. So I'll have to look that up, but that's a nice little earring right there. So that is that, that's it. Uh, we got this stretch bracelet right here, but it's broken. So yeah, um, I am going to say that I like the natural stone that we got, these two bracelets. And uh, the charm, you know, the Florida or beachy bracelet is nice. But for the most part, I think that this one was a bust. The J, the J. Crew necklaces were nice, but there was issues with both of them. So we'll go ahead and we will get into the Goodwill blue box. And we'll compare and see if the Google Blue Box is any better. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you for hanging out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.